so we are done with all of our main missions guys but we have other small missions you know uh, small activities that we can do in this game so we are gonna complete those activities let's see what Where is this mission hey bud what you do nothing what you up to cletus uh, hunting Hunt, hunting what retirees now nah, just uh windows antenna tires vermin ah so that was you is the season for it i don't give a shit about no season <laughs> oh good huh don't let the regulations get you down that's what i'm saying hey 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 you want to come hunting with me it'd be real neighborly of you hell why not all right then up here with you I think we have to hunt something new with some birds. Thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. brains what the hell how long does it take you're no red i am really not sure what actually should we snipe here let me check snipe these satellite dishes so that's what Question ain't why, it's why the hell not. Seen that before. This is Let's see that sniper rifle then. You do a lot better with a sniper rifle. Hellfire! Come on, it ain't like they're running away from you. Damn, what should we kill? You know, snipe here. Is this? How long does it take? Is this? Yeah, oh. Give him hell. Shoot another one. That's this satellite. No more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. to go with Cletus. Thought you stood me up for a minute. So, what now? We are gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that, you'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. There we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving hey. target. Oh, where's your firearm at? 
This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good plain old fashioned fun. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. It beauty in again, Trevor. Aim low, so if you do miss, at least you'll not spook the driver. Metal don't count. Only in sandy shores. Cars don't burst. Shoot the tires. You're slower than molasses on a cold day. Man, not too bad, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Just two fellers killing time Come on, in small he's giving town America. Dirty. Don't get much better than this, well, does it? The two missions. most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not... Neighborly. Hmm. We'll get a better shot from up here. Kill whom? All right, I see him. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out, and the rest should scatter. <laughs> Dropped it like a bad habit. I think. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. So I guess that's it. Oops, 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 oops. I don't want to get in here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go to the other mission. Ooh. So guys, we read this location to meet Cletus again. Uh, so I think he's gonna have some interesting activity for us. There you are, Trevor. Oh, but he's my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Uh. I beat satellite dishes. Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. I what think... is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. 
If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them, and they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. I think Go we on, have to down. hunt a deer, I guess, guys. I am really unable to find here. Ah. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Raring okay, to let's go. Let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. I'm really not sure where this is hiding. I have three speeds. On, off, and don't push your luck. Ah, Come here on, we go. Did you see, guys? much else or nothing else out here but we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open that's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in ah yes please enlighten me it tastes like old person that's a diaphragm mm-hmm an elk whistle to you and me all right give it a good blow see if we can get any nearby elk to holler back sounds like Someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. Here we go, another one. Ah, I need a headshot. Wow, you blew his damn head off. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. I think we have couple, couple. You leave that dough alone now, Trevor. I think we have one here. But this looks like a female one. I think we just have to shoot a male one. Ah, here I guess. Now lay him in the shade. Ah! 
Ah! Damn! Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. Okay, this is good. Same as before. Nice and steady. Now lay him in the shade. Now, Trevor, uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. I think we have one here. There it is. Oops. See something moving over there. There we go. Oops. I guess that's it. Peter has sent us a message. Beauty, got a GPS tag and everything. I recon this could work. Calling you now. Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now. If we divide and conquer, I reckon we can make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Uh -huh. Great. So that's it guys for this episode. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and do like, share and uh, subscribe to our channel guys. Thank you.